I made this entire game engine in only 24 hours with no help, no idea what I was doing, and absolutely no room for failure. I wonder how I'm gonna pull this off. BAM! With two hours gone off the clock, we've got ourselves a window that holds these things called entities. Entities are literally any object in the game world, whether that's the player, a coin, a poly- wait, a polymars? Hey guys. But okay, you know the problem with this? We can't see anything. So I quickly coded up some simple sprite rendering, which took a while, but eventually ended up working perfectly, except for the fact that we still couldn't see anything. Luckily, I had just forgotten to add textures to my renderer, so I did some crazy stuff with the system.drawing library to load images in as textures to use with OpenGL. I then imported a couple of very high quality textures to my sample project and ran it to test everything. Everything was working fine and looked good, so I checked that task off of my to-do list. What was that? System dot access violation exception. I I've literally never seen that before. Honestly, maybe this is my issue. I can just like get rid of that. Hopefully this works. <sighs> this is so weird. It doesn't even tell me like why. I have no idea how to fix this. Having only gotten a few hours in and already facing the threat of not being able to finish was honestly soul crushing. Everyone tells you, don't make a game engine. It'll take too long. Don't make a game engine. You're just reinventing the wheel. Don't make your own game engine. Leave that to the big teams. And honestly, I want to prove them wrong. Basically, I needed to finish this to prove to the world that I can, but more importantly, to prove to myself that I can. The time of the ticking clock continued to eat away at my hope, and I was honestly ready to scrap the entire project when it hit me. Ow. Oh, how convenient. The solution to my problem. Just pass this page. For whatever reason, copying the int pointer to the texture over to a new byte array got rid of all the errors and I was once again cruising forward and making progress. Sure, it was hard and I had wasted a lot of time, but at least the worst of my problems had passed, right? Look at all this code. The core of the engine was pretty much finished, so I wanted to make Pong, just to, you know, test things out. But Pong has squares, and I don't have squares, so I hopped into Illustrator and, you guessed it, I drew a triangle. Now we've got two players in the game, but a key part of the players in Pong is that they can move up and down. Unfortunately, my engine doesn't have keyboard inputs yet, which means that there's no way it'll know if I press a key or anything. Wait. Hold on, wait, wait, wait a second. What, what was that? Oh, it's a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Unity. If you're not living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard of it, but for those of you that have a sponge for a best friend, Unity is a cross-platform 2D and 3D game engine that does basically everything. The engine has its own asset store called, you guessed it, the Unity Asset Store, which is home to a ton of awesome tools, models, sprites, just like literally anything, you name it. And currently the asset store is hosting its annual spring sale, which contains 500 assets at 50% off and nearly 200 other assets on flash deals up to 80% off. I think this is a really great way to speed up the development of your indie game or whatever project that you're working on, but this sale isn't gonna be here forever. The sale runs from April 11th to April 29th, so if you're interested, make sure to use my links in the description because many of these assets won't go on sale again until the end of the year. Thanks again to Unity for sponsoring this video because otherwise I wouldn't be able to pay for like, um, like, like, anything. The clock struck 12 hours, and honestly, I felt pretty good about finishing this. Pong was done, and the engine now had a name. I decided I would call it WAP. Just, bro, what is serious with this? Sorry, let me handle this really quick. I've never heard such a bad Hey, <laughs> what was that? Uh, you don't like uh, my nothing. engine's name? Dude, dude WAP, it's, it's like a Pokemon. Pokemon? Dude, that's literally the worst game engine name I've ever heard. Okay, so I was listening to a song, and it was called Guap, so I was like, you know, it's it's a good name, right? Okay, you actually, you've convinced me. Guap is an amazing name, uh, for a chip dip. At that point, just name it guacamole <laughs> yeah, yo bro you want to go out and go up, man i i don't need to listen to this it's, it's a it's a good name even with everyone making fun of my engine's name, I pushed through and spent a couple hours cleaning everything up and making it all nice and pretty. I also got around to fixing some issues with sprite sorting and sprite scaling and all that jazz. Hold on, give me a second. Man, I really hope he doesn't change the name or something. Now that Guys, we've all agreed. I want to, I want to change the name. Y you're changing the name. Yeah, everything you said. So like, what were you thinking instead then? I used my process for the last one where I was listening to a song. The song was called Mirage. Mirage. Hmm. Doesn't have that tongue roll off that guap. Has. Really, now that I think about it, Guap is just a lot better of a name, honestly. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like unique, you know? No, I'm, I'm not listening to you guys. I'm changing the name. I can't deal with this. I quickly drew up a logo that's definitely
definitely not inspired by anything else that's already like, you know, e existing. Then comes the fun part. See all this code? I had to document every single method, class, struct, property, just everything all by myself. This took me a decent amount of time, but honestly, it felt like a blur because I got into a rhythm and eventually was able to get it all done in addition to writing up some docs in the GitHub repo. And when it was all said and done, it only took me eight hours. No, 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 no. We're, we're not having this. Alexa, delete my timer. 24 hour timer canceled. I then did a bunch more cleanup and refactoring and you know what? We've got four hours to finish an entire Flappy Bird game for the engine. Let's go. I quickly hopped into Illustrator and drew up some art that honestly looks so good that I think someone other than me drew it even though they didn't. And I quickly threw it all into my project and with about two hours remaining, I got the player flapping and the pipes spawning. All I needed now was the parallax background. I got that all done and everything looked fine so I decided to move on to it. No, that's a blue screen. I, I really don't know how to fix this. There's literally nothing I can do. So this was it. I only had a few hours to finish this game engine, and the literal background of a Flappy Bird game was stopping me from doing it. Honestly, who was I to think I'd be able to do it, especially in only 24 hours? I guess Mirage was just another game engine that I wasn't going to f wait. Hold on. No way this works. No way, okay, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Feel free to go check out the engine. Thanks, Kat, for supporting me on Patreon. And go watch this other video.